Hi everyone, daily chess puzzle. Let's have a look at a puzzle which has a rating around 2450. So here is the puzzle here. As always, you can scan it using the QR code uh, with your other device. So using the same approach, six steps, we will try and assess this position and find a winning move. Step number one, understanding position. So first of all, counting the material. White three pawns, black has two extra pawns, one minor piece each side and rook each side. So therefore, we are solving the position for white. There are two pawns down, so that suggests we either win material or go for checkmate. If you have done many uh, puzzles on mate in one, there is a typical threat of mate with this protected knight and a rook being on g8 well, while this pawn is, is is here, for example. So this pawn is, is here. So second sub-step in understanding the position, evaluating king's safety. Well, it's towards the end game. So this king is potentially vulnerable because if we bring the rook here, we might potentially create a mating net. Our king, although is on the run, it's still relatively safe if we can avoid some of the threats that black have. The main threat, open diagonals, files ranks, very important position of the white rook on the D file, potentially trying to get on the back rank to G8. Other than that, everything else seems not very important. Evaluating each piece, so the, the function of the rook is to get to the back rank primarily given that we are significantly disadvantaged the knight is on a wonderful position cannot be kicked out by anything black cannot even sacrifice a rook to get rid of this knight it's protected by a pawn so if you're in in your practical games if you manage to get this well done so looking at these pawns pawn on e5 has a very good function here f4 stands for protecting e5 we might think about if the situation was different of pushing f5, but now it seems like an obvious bad move, so we won't even think about it. So there's not, nothing else to evaluate. I think we understand the position now well. Moving on to step number two, thinking about possible motives. Again, our understanding of the position, we are two pawns down. It doesn't seem like we can win additional material. So the theme, the motive of this puzzle is checkmating that's the only way to sort of to win in this situation so we need to somehow create a mating net if we were to put the rook on g8 there is only one field for the king to escape on h6 so we need now to think about how to prevent uh, the black king from escaping to to h6 so checkmate is the motive for of this position identifying immediate threats step number three immediate threats for white is creating the mating net as we try to do it. Uh, black has several good moves or moves that ease the tension around the potential counterattack and mating net created by white, taking on g4 or advancing the pawn, taking with a bishop on g4. Um, threats are around advancing these pawns in the future. Other than that, it's probably around the security of the g4. Establishing candidate moves, step number four, checks, captures threats, as you remember, and also potentially quiet moves from time to time. So let's have a look at all possible checks. Knight h5, knight e8, two checks, captures, knight takes h5 with a check, gh, two captures. Threats, we need to think about the threat of a mate, so rook d8, however, to mate, we also need to protect the h6. The way to take control of h6 is to push the pawn to g5. So in threats, we will have a look at the possible rook d8 and g5. So we established the candidate moves. Now we need to calculate checks. Knight takes h5 doesn't make sense. Simply recaptured. Knight e8, king escapes, not a good move. All, all checks, that's it. Captures, knight h5, we've seen that. gh, what does it achieve possibly? That will be recaptured by a pawn. And if we were to move the rook over here, black has time to run away through a number of fields, but also moving to h6 simply. Threats, two threats, rook d8, with the idea playing rook g8 and g5 mate. However, the problem with that, if we play rook d8, the g 
pawn will be captured. So the maximum that we, we can achieve is a check, king to h6, check on h8, king back to g7. So probably we can give a perpetual check. Also with the rook d8, potentially there could be some other moves. For example, a check on h4. So rook d8 doesn't seem to be a winning move. The last candidate move was g5. On g5, there is a check available because this diagonal will be open. Rook h3, there could be an h4 check. So in any scenario, we will move to g2 and there won't be a continuation for black. So for example, g5, rook h3 check. So we have to move to g2 because if we move to f2, there will be a check on h2 exchanging the pawn, uh, the rook g5. Rook h, rook h3, king g2, and there is no possible sensible check by black, and they don't have time to protect, uh, sorry, the back rank. So that seems to be, I don't see a defense for black, so g5 is my preferred move. Let's go to step number six. Step number six is pausing and reassessing the selected move. So we decided to play g5. Now let's try and find a better defense for black. It could be rook g1 check, then we potentially need to think where to escape. So that could be probably on h2. It doesn't seem that black have another check. They might, of course, take on g5. That doesn't help. We have an extra pawn protecting g5. They might also on g5 play h4 check. We will play g2. There is no way to exchange the rooks. So probably it's time to resign. So now we're happy that we found probably the best solution playing g5. Rook h3, computers move. King to g2, very important, not on f2. Trying to get and protect the back rank. And that's the solution. Step number six, we've done that. Hopefully you enjoyed today's puzzle. If you did, please click like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.